Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Oha Cade, I'm a composer, and today we're gonna check out Song for Dead Time by Swans. And this was a request by Kyungsoo Sings, who's a patron of mine. Thank you, Kyungsoo. If you'd like to become a patron, the link is in the description below to my Patreon. And there's also a link to my PayPal where you can submit a special request. Now, I don't know anything about this band. I think they're a band I, it could be a solo artist. I, I have absolutely no idea. I know that they are pretty popular, hugely popular, potentially. I've heard the name around, like I listen to, or I watch a lot of musical discussion online and I've heard the name Swans come up a lot. I just have no idea what kind of music they make, how many people are in the band, where they're from, nothing like that. And that's, how I prefer to go into it. I really prefer to not have too much backstory on music before I get into it. I really prefer to let the music speak for itself and judge it solely based off of that. Let's see what uh, is in store. This is my first time hearing this band. A very interesting artwork, very cool, very imaginative, creepy almost. So yeah, this could go in any sort of direction. I guess my assumption is that it's some kind of indie rock, uh, experimental rock maybe, uh, progressive rock or stoner metal. Anyway, I, I'll stop uh, ranting. Let's see what's going on. Song for Dead Time by Swans. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, I love that. Okay, sorry to stop it right away, but you, th this, you know what this reminds me of? Those strings and that this atmosphere? It reminds me of the soundtrack to Silent Hill, the Silent Hill game by Akira Yamaoka, I think his name is, the composer for that soundtrack. Very chilling, creepy, profound takes you completely to another dimension. Also with an emotional undertone as well with those guitar melodies. Beautiful. I'm still getting mega Silent Hill vibes with that synth, the sound design. Okay, so this singer's voice is so intense. Their tone is very interesting, very evocative, really has that storytelling quality. I can't pick up on the lyrics themselves. I'm really just getting the, like a sort of a theatrical storytelling character vibe from their delivery. I'm curious to know if, if it's going to be this type of very slow sort of ghoulish delivery through the whole song or if they're going to take us in another direction. Yeah, and I hate to harp on about it, but I have heard vocalists like this in the Silent Hill soundtrack <laughs> and I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like they're ripping it off or anything. I, that's not what I'm saying at all, but I, I would be very surprised if that inspiration wasn't there. It, it could easily be a coincidence, of course. <laughs> A little bit of... Some 
little bit of a lift there briefly in the atmosphere. Uh, it, very impressive how long that they held that note for. Very cool, not easy to do, especially at that really quite delicate level. It actually shows a lot of vocal control, um, even though I would say that a lot of the vocals in the song, they really are more of a speech level style of singing rather than being fully sung, if that makes sense. It's sort of a more spoken approach. They're really telling the story rather than singing it in a more like operatic style or anything, for instance. And that is why it's extra impressive that they could hold the note for that long because of the technique that they're using. I really liked the layered vocals there. There was a little bit of uh, double layering on the lead for that section and also some cool harmonies in the background too. Really lovely developments so far. A little bit of a Fleetwood Mac influence, potentially, as well. I love that guitar coming in in the background. Very cool. It's like ghostly western you know, saloon. That bass is gorgeous. Such a creepy, ghostly sound. Very impressive atmosphere building. I'm really curious to look at the lyrics and see what the song is about. It does have a sort of a, a droning, relentless quality, you know? Like a monotonous... A monotonous feeling. Intentional, of course. Not boring, but like this... It has this... It, a monotony it's evoking. Interesting. Now, me personally, I'm not a super big fan of fade outs. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of fade outs. Uh, I prefer a more creative resolution to a song if possible. There were so many cool elements in the song, the guitars, the bass the strings, you know, we could have found a, a more creative way to find a resolution somewhere, maybe slowly remove elements and then maybe finally just leave it with either the strings or the bass or, or even the vocals, you know. That's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. Also, um, for my own personal tastes, I do prefer songs that have a little bit more variety in the vocal delivery throughout. You know, there's a slightly uncomfortable intimacy that the singer was evoking throughout that supports that that little bit of a horror or creepy dreamlike quality um which is really enjoyable but i 
I guess as as uh, someone who quite likes uh, you know musical theater and symphonic metal and a little bit more bells and whistles, I would have liked something a little bit more dramatic. Although I totally understand that. At the same time, maybe that's not what this band is about, and they're more about just kind of like letting the vibe uh, ring out and flow out, and that's perfectly cool as well. So um, I'm gonna check out the lyrics and see what's going on there. Okay, um, this song is, well, the lyrics definitely fitting with the music in that they seem very bleak, very dreary, very nihilistic, I would say. Uh, very ominous, foreboding, hopeless, <laughs> not leaving a whole lot of room for optimistic uh, exploration there. They're beautifully written, don't get me wrong, but I am trying to figure out what, what they're getting at. It could be as simple as someone who is simply just depressed, does not enjoy life, is looking forward to death. The sun is an emptiness that burns through the sky, you know. Uh, often the sun is used as a metaphor for something that's good, a uh, light in the world. Here it's just an emptiness that burns in the sky and, you know, that's it. It's just a burning ball of gas and that's all there is to it. What, you know, how are you going to get hype about that? The past is untrue and this breath is a lie. The past is untrue and this breath is a lie. So, yeah, another vibe that I'm getting from this song is potentially the theme of solipsism where one considers themselves the only conscious being in existence. You see here there's the line, when this body dies no man will breathe. So it's like, well if I'm dead nothing exists anyway because I'm not here to experience it. Why give a, a flying fudge about anything? It says Bury your trust beneath the ground with me. Lay your loneliness down for the sun to consume. And then later it says, Lay your loneliness down for the sun to burn to sand. So, like, the sun is really the villain here. There's a strange sort of romance mm, being implied, where it's like, let's, let's get together in our sadness, in our acceptance of this inevitable reality. It's also giving me a little bit of like global warming vibes, you know, a nervousness, a fear of the coming death and destruction, you know, potentially caused by that um, or some other natural disaster. It says here, we'll walk to the river where we'll die of a thirst. And the earth bleeds cold water in my open hands. There's a lot of talks about rivers and, and water and, but it's like, will die of a thirst even though the river is so abundant. Yeah, I, I, it, it's also like kind of vague, vaguely written. I'm sure that there is probably a definite intended meaning behind the song, but it is written in such a way where everyone can make their own interpretation. But whatever the interpretation is, it's definitely nihilistic and scary, <laughs> fitting with the music for sure. A very cold and bleak idea being put forth and uh, you know we love it <laughs> we love it uh, very competently created very profound and chilling lyrics and composition so they definitely achieved their goal there I would definitely be very curious to hear more from this band again because I'm such a fan of the Silent Hill soundtrack and that general vibe I I'm totally down for it and I am definitely curious to know what they're getting at with the lyrics and if similar themes run through all their songs or if this was just a particularly melancholic song for them. So that, that, that's about it from me. This is definitely really interesting. Great suggestion. Thank you again, Kyung Soo Sings. Um, if you'd also like to become a patron, again, my Patreon link and my PayPal link are in the description below if you'd like to submit requests. Any other ideas, feel free to leave a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe. Again, my name is Oha Cade. I'm a composer. If you'd like to check out my own original music, my main musical outlet is the symphonic metal band Valkara. We just put out a new single called Archangel, and I'll leave a link for that down in the description below too. This was a lot of fun. 
I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again and have a good one. Cheers.